Hey guys, welcome back to the Make Me Lab. If you watch my live shows, you probably noticed this week that we didn't have one. What ended up happening is I went to reboot my PC an hour before the show and it completely failed to start up. It would post and I would get errors with the drive and this just got worse from there. It didn't work out very well at all. I ended up having to cancel the show. Afterwards, I did some diagnostics and looked into it. I ended up swapping to another PC, and I thought we'd do a quick post-mortem on that particular PC and see if we can maybe fix it or see what's wrong. Let's take it down to the workshop and have a look. So we've got this on the bench. I've already stripped out the drives because I've already installed them in my new PC, which was robbed from my flight simulator. For the astute among you, you might have even spotted the problem already, but we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at this. I've already ruled out the basics, the power supply, everything was okay. It did boot, but it just wouldn't, wouldn't do anything with the drive. So we know we have a, a motherboard problem at that stage, and I've already checked the drives and they work. I think I'll go ahead and get this out of here so we can take a closer look. So with the motherboard out on the bench, it's a little easier to work with. I have no excuse for how much dust is in this thing. It was way overdue for a cleaning, but that didn't really overly contribute to the failure here. I knew it's not the CPU uh, or the cooling there, despite how bad it is. But if we have a look around the board, generally you just want to give I gave it the sniff test and I couldn't smell anything obviously burnt but I can see some failure points here already I'll see if I can zoom in on them a little better here in looking around the board you want to have a close look at your caps particularly these electrolytic caps here these ones not too bad no major issues there if we go up and around we can start to see that there that is a bulged cap getting a better angle on it here you can see the top is clearly bulged we don't even need to measure that and we know it's defective going further up the board there's another one same issue as before completely bulged out that electrolytic cap is toast if we move around to the power side of the board, same deal again. Toast, toast. That is likely the only fault with this board. If a person was so inclined, they could go and take an ESR meter, I have one here, and measure them and prove they're defective, but they are. They're bulged out, they're toast. This is the same in most computer electronics consumer electronics of any form that stays online a lot stays powered up these things dry out over time uh, like lcd monitors and tvs these are these are number one culprit we could go ahead and change these but this board is so old it is simply not worth it uh, in my mind i'm half tempted to give it a try but i don't think we'll bother on the channel it's just it's just simply not worth it but at least we know the root cause of why this failed and it actually did give me some hints when it when it did the post initially after the immediate failure on reboot i noticed the cmos had reset that was my first indicator that i had a mainboard problem if i would have turned the lights on and removed some of the wiring i would have spotted these bulged caps right away that is pretty much all there is to it. Definitely not worth repairing in this case. I think we'll just write this one off and continue with the new one, but at least I have root cause of the failure. Well guys, that's the failure mode for almost all consumer electronics nowadays. Over time, as they're powered up and functioning and warm, the caps do dry out. I thought you guys might be interested in seeing what, uh, what actually failed. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember click a thumbs up down below. Check out my Patreon campaign and support this channel directly if you so choose. See you next week.